But you know, I was in the title insurance business for a long time, and so that afforded me the opportunity to be around the Home Builders Association. And then there was an opportunity to volunteer with Habitat for Humanity, and I did. I went out there one day, had a wonderful experience, just loved it. Went back the next day and, and just really fell in love with home building then. I was asked to serve on our Entertainment and Greeting Committee in Birmingham, which uh, is a committee that greets everyone um, for all of our dinner meetings. So it was a great opportunity to network and meet people and see what the association was all about. And then that, of course, um, took me to the State Association and I was on the PR committee and I saw people like Randy Fanning and Buddy Bowman and their passion for making sure that people, that we brought to light what the home builders do for our industry and, um, and it really, made me want to be a part of it. So I met Alicia in 2001. I was the local president and she was chairing a committee and served on the executive committee. So as a leader, you're looking for people that'll be involved and she was. She asked hard questions. She was um, passionate about the things she wanted to know and sometimes to a fault. But um, if you know Alicia, you know what I mean. She'll keep asking the question until you answer it right. She cares, she's interested in the association, and um, she wants to do everything she can do to make us a better place, and I learned that early on. Alicia is sort of that silent leader there. She doesn't, isn't too flamboyant at all, uh, <clears throat> and just really to the point on everything that she is doing, both on the the uh, the associates level that I first worked with her on and then she became a builder and just uh, seeing her get involved in the state organization has just really been impressive. So. Alicia to me is such a great listener and she listens first which is unusual you know for most people so I, th I think she listens I think she 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 thinks critically you know, before she speaks, and then when she speaks, she captivates the room. I, I think about Alicia, you know, being mostly in a, in a male-dominated field, especially in male-dominated boardrooms, and just the fact that she commands such a present, uh, presence amongst uh, so many males is just amazing to me. We had a big job going at Birmingham Southern, and Alicia decided she would superintend it for us. Well, I had a Birmingham inspector that I knew he came out and did a footing inspection. And after the inspection was over, I wasn't there. And he called me and said, man, you're in trouble. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, uh, I know what you've done. And I said, well, was, what, what happened? And he said, uh, you've hired a pretty girl to come out here on the job and get all these inspections passed. She ran that job almost flawlessly and um, and got all the inspections passed and did a really good job for us. She very much listens uh, and she's very thoughtful. And she she has her convictions, right? She believes in what she believes, but they're never rock ribbed enough that it clouds her judgment. Alicia did a lot for the HBAA. Most of y'all may not know that she was on her way to be on the um, senior officer ladder for HBAA. Um, she got off that ladder to serve at National, but she had done several committees and councils all the way through. The benefits that I've seen are through the uh, um, public relations that she was involved with uh, and getting the billboards throughout the state um, and also the, the tags and uh, the foundation and a revenue source for uh, the foundation and the scholarships that we, we provide that, that way. She fights for our industry. Uh, national, uh, state level, I've seen it national and state level. I haven't witnessed it local, but um, I, you know, I know she does. And she just, she's a fighter for our industry. She's put Alabama on the map nationally. We've always been a really highly respected association nationally. She gave us that face and that voice, something that we hadn't had in the past. She's represented Alabama and the National Association and, and the, in the halls of Congress, in the administration, in countless HBAs across the country. You know, as an ambassador for the industry, we couldn't have a, a, a better person for it. Obviously, Alicia, the chairman of the board of NAHB, and, and I think that really has showcased our state in such a great light. I think she's one of uh, two NAHB chair, chairman. Um, and just the way she showcased our state, the way she fought for our state while she was in DC, 
to me, that's that's what makes her, um, you know, the perfect candidate for Hall of Fame. I think she represents the best of NHB's leaders. I, I really do. I think again that listen first, and that action uh, is really important. It, I think some of the things that we were able to do in her year, and with this officer team of which she led when she was chair, and now she's a a, a great a great supporting part of. Those things are going to have a lasting effect. Alicia, congratulations on being not being installed in the state hall of fame. Alicia, welcome to the uh, the party here. Uh, you know, looking back over the other uh, uh, candidates that that are in the hall of fame, I, I really put you at the top of that, and and uh, look forward to serving with you. Thank you. Alicia, congratulations on being accepted into the Alabama Housing Hall of Fame. I can't think of a more deserving honor for a better person. Alicia, congratulations. Very well deserved. You have done a phenomenal job for the last five years representing Alabama, and we very much appreciate it. Thank you for all you've done, and congratulations on this well-deserved honor. Oh, wow. And being inducted in the Hall of Fame um, means everything to me. It's it's a huge honor to be recognized by your peers and your family. Um, there's not another award I think that I could ever receive that would mean more to me than this. A lot of people to thank. Of course, I have to start with my husband, Don. He's always been so supportive and encouraging of me. Even when I told him I wanted to change careers and become a home builder, he's been my, um, he's been a big cheerleader for me for a long time. Of course, I have to thank um, Taylor Burton and his wife, Erin. Um, I uh, credit Erin with getting me involved in the professional women in building. Taylor's been a big mentor um, to me throughout the years, and um, I really appreciate that. There are other members in Birmingham and across the state that have encouraged me um, and held me accountable for, um, for what I'm doing at the national level, so, yeah. There's not another association like the HBAA. I have traveled to a lot of associations across the country, a lot of state associations. There are the other associations that may be larger in number to us, but there's nobody that's a larger family than we are. Um, we are very successful. Russell and his staff have done a wonderful job of putting together a, a an incredible family, and I'm very proud to be a part of it, and, and I know you should be too. Charlie Williamson, who was working for Jim Wilson and Associates, called me and asked me what I was going to do after I graduated, and I told him probably go into banking, and he said, you don't want to do that. He said, you want to come and build houses and develop property. And I said, ah, I don't think I want to. And he, he convinced me to come talk to him and the Wilsons and so came to Wind Lakes and started uh, there. I was looking for educational opportunities where I could learn more because I didn't have a building science degree and didn't have any formal training. Been around it my whole life with my family but really never had any, like I said, formal training. And so looked into the Home Builders Association as a resource where I could get some training and I started taking the Certified Graduate Builder classes. And that just kind of led me into the door of getting involved in the association, learning what it was about, and been there ever since. Well, the first time I met Jimmy was uh, when he was appointed presidential appointee, the Great Montgomery Home Builders Association, which was a long time ago. And uh, I was impressed with uh, Jimmy's confidence and his knowledge at that time. And uh, I could see that he could be a really good future leader. When I first met Jimmy and, and when he started getting active with the association, you just knew he was gonna be the type of leader that people would respect, uh, that they would listen to and, and, and follow when, when an initiative came up that needed to be pursued. And he's done a wonderful job at every level. Um, locally, politically, uh, there's, there's nobody been to more council meetings, commission meetings, whether it's in Prattville, Wetumpka, Montgomery, uh, Jimmy's testified at Congress on our behalf. It's just not a better advocate for housing uh, than Jimmy Rutland. So Jimmy took a very active role um, in his presidency. He had a staff meeting with, with all of us and said, you know, he, he wanted that president's trophy and here's what we were gonna do to get it. And that's the kind of energy he had when I met him and he still does to this day. Puts in a lot of time, he's a lot of effort. He, uh, he gets there early and stays late. He did that for quite a few years. 
while also having a higher moral standards, a big family man. Very knowledgeable about the home building business. He's also uh, very confident uh, and very smart, uh, but he's also humble, which is a, a good mix of ingredients to have those, those characteristics about you. He never backs down from a fight. Um, he's very smart. He's always going to do his homework. He's competitive. He's super passionate. And those are just some of the things that I think make him a great leader. Well, Jimmy's like a lot of builders. He's headstrong and he's aggressive. And if there's an issue that's important to him that feels like it's right for his company and the building industry, he's going to pursue it vigorously. You know, we've always had issues from time to time with uh, fire departments. I remember Jimmy was going to Wetumpka along with Jason um, to talk with them about emergency secondary roads on smaller lot subdivisions, and which we were totally against, and Jimmy uh, helped make uh, it not happen. But the fire chief uh, in Wetumpka basically said, if y'all come up here, I'll try to have you arrested. Luckily, um, they weren't arrested and we were able to win on, on that battle. Um, he's always up to date about what's going on in every different municipality. He attends city council meetings. And I joke around with Jimmy all the time and tell him if he ever leaves this association, we're going to have to pay someone on staff to do the work that he does. He does so much. One of the uh, best things that Jimmy has done for the uh, Home Builders Association of Alabama uh, is his ability to raise money for PAC, Political Action Committee. Jimmy's done a great job of that, and because of that, uh, our PAC, the State of Alabama's PAC, is one of the strongest in the nation. Jimmy's always been a housing advocate, and he has done basically anything the association leadership asked him to do or participate in, he's done it, and he's done it in a big way. He's been extremely uh, aggressive in so many different areas, particularly raising money and have AVPAC and all the other little things that the home builders do that take time and effort that Jim has done, always done an outstanding job in those areas that, that and that's what uh, people like, that's what makes this association uh, as successful as it's been. Uh, Jimmy has the ability to bring people together uh, at a meeting. You may have some conflicts, some difference of opinion, but Jimmy has that knack uh, to get everybody on the same page, the same table, and get everybody uh, going in, in the right direction. I think the Hall of Fame is as well deserved as anyone I've ever known in the association because he's, he's made a lot of difference in a lot of different areas and continuing to do so. I think the main reason that Jimmy uh, really deserves this is because his loyalty to the association and his dedication and his commitment, and he continues to do that. Jimmy is a doer. He's not someone who sits on the sidelines. He's out there doing the work. He wants the association to be the best that it can be, and he's just a true problem solver. If there's anything going on, Jimmy's the guy you want to call. He's going to figure out a way, and the association is a better place because of him most proud of him and can't think of anyone more deserving this honor and um, I'm just happy for you Jimmy congratulations hey, I want to congratulate him for what he has done and continue to do and uh, I just look forward to the, he'll be around a lot longer than I will but I hope he'll be a, a continue to grow and bring these young younger guys along with him maybe so they can they can certainly learn something from his accomplishments over the last 20, 25 years that he's already put into this association. So Jimmy, I just want to congratulate you uh, for this very high honor. Uh, be a member of the Home Builders Hall of Fame. It's very, you're very well um, deserving of it. And uh, we, we appreciate all you've done and, and just uh, congratulations on this honor. Congratulations, Jimmy. I hope tonight has shown you just how special you are to all of us. And I hope you will enjoy every minute of this honor. It means a lot um, to, to be recognized and, and to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. It's very humbling, um, but I'm very honored. Uh, first and foremost, uh, my Savior Jesus Christ uh, for giving me the opportunity. Um, but then, you know, the mentors um, that brought me along. Uh, Hugh Cole was one of the first. and. Then again, the you know the Ted Watts and others and Russell Davis and, and various people who have 
given me advice and, and helped me uh, on, on this journey. Uh, certainly our local staff and what they do for us. Obviously the Louder family for allowing me the, the time to do this out, during work and outside of work and to be a, a part of it. Rachel giving me and allowing me the time outside of work and um, just uh, my children understanding and getting drug along and um, just my family. It's been a great ride. I'm looking forward to many more years of serving and, and enjoying the association and hopefully being a mentor to others as they come along.